I'm going to take you through how to uh, play back and download uh, videos from your IP camera. Um, we're using um, Hike Vision's uh, IVMS4200, that's what we like to call it. It's Intelligent Video Management System I, uh, to actually do the downloads and playback. So the first thing we need to do is to go into our control panel here and system configuration. So click on that and what we need to do is set the path for the file downloads and you can see I've already got mine set in here. It's quite easy to change if you go to this little box where you've got uh, three little dots just click on that and then it opens up where you actually want to save it. So you then, I'm quite happy that it's actually going to be this Hedgepig videos and we click open and then click save. Make sure you click save otherwise it won't remember it. Um, there are other paths for where you want pictures to be downloaded to and obviously the configuration file. But that's the first bit done. Uh, next thing is to go to remote playback which you can either do via this link here or the one on the top. That doesn't really matter. And then you need to tick the particular um, camera you want to look at. In this case it's the hog feeder. And then coming down to the bottom here on our left hand side is a little calendar sign. If we click onto that it gives us a little calendar and we can work out when we actually want this particular footage. Um, now I'm going to look from midnight uh, last night until let's say 7 in the morning uh, because that's when active so 07 00 00. Click OK and then click the search button. You'll see a little um, search dialog there and then you've got the first uh, of, oh here it comes, is that particular hedgehog coming in. Now you can stop it on there and also on the right hand side you'll see all the various uh, recordings as well so you can just cl click on uh, this little green play and it will take you to that particular one and it will start to play it. That's actually a fly flying about by the look of it. Or you can move it along to obviously these big lumps here where we've got hedge pigs coming in um, on there and we can move it to the next one along and this is the particular one I'm interested in because this is a couple of hedgehogs that come in together. So I'm just going to stop that a minute uh, we need to download, so what we're going to do is uh, right click in the window where you've got the playback and then you should see download. It brings up this download uh, dialog and what we need to do is just going to pull that out a little bit so we can see all of the times and the times I'm looking for are actually at 5 o'clock in the morning. They're uh, the particular ones I'm after. So here we go. So I'm actually going to take that one and that one and that one. Uh, in fact, I'll take this out because I've actually got those before and it won't take quite so long. And I'll take this one. They're the ones that I'm actually interested. So having ticked them, you can then just click the download box. And surprise, surprise, uh, nearly happens every time you get this download exception. Now. This is down to the fact that you've got a certain amount of bandwidth, you've got these various streams coming through and it seems as if it can't cope sometimes. Uh, I've found a workaround, it's a silly workaround but it seems to work. If you go to device man management, which you might have on the top here or you can go via the control uh, panel here, device management, uh, find the IP camera in question, in this case it's the hog feeder then click on the remote configuration. This will bring, uh, this is actually connecting into the IP camera now and what we're going to do is to actually reboot it. So if we go to system maintenance and then click reboot. Now if I go back to main view, um, move that out of the way for the moment, you will see that the camera will stop uh, there we are, you can see oh, the little hedge pig is moving in the nest box down there. Um, sorry, I digress. Uh, it stopped, so that means that it's going to be rebooting. And so we'll wait for that to 
start again. Um, shouldn't take too long. Um, one thing I need to mention, oh, this is obviously the Mac version we're working through. Um, I do have the uh, Windows version on a laptop um, and it works very much the same and has this same problem. Uh, it doesn't actually tell you a download exception, it just says oh there's too many streams, try again. Um, again, oh, here it is, it's coming back up. So that's now back up. So if I just come to this, which seems to sit nicely on the top, and click download, you'll see it's downloading. All right, and that will download those particular uh, videos. And we should get a nice little thing. There we are, download complete, and it's then going on to the next one. I was mentioning about the Windows version. Uh, same thing happens, uh, although I find even if I uh, reboot the camera, it all seems to be of a hit and miss thing. So I actually prefer using the Mac version, it seems to work better. But there is a caveat to that. Um, when you actually download the files, if I actually now come down to here, go into my Hedgepig videos, um, what it actually does, it puts it, as you can see, into a folder with the date on it. So you've got 2020, 04 for uh, April, and then 27th, which is today's date. And if we go in there, oh, sorry, just double click that. I've actually been downloading some other things in here, and you can see that that one's not ready at the moment. Um, but if I actually go to one of these other ones, which is, if you try and uh, double click on that, um, default for a Mac is uh, QuickTime. QuickTime won't open these because of the codec used by Hike Vision. So therefore what you need to do is download uh, either um, VLC and we go to we can open it in VLC and if you look down there we have opened VLC and then it should open the video, here it comes, there's the video. Now there's only one problem with opening them like this. You probably hear that there's no sound and it's to do with the Kodak that um, Hike Vision use. Uh, there is another way of opening where we will get the sound and that is to use the uh, VS player which again you can download from Hike Vision. So if I load that up There we go, and with these you can just do a drag and drop onto there, and you can probably hear just about, let's just turn the sound up a little bit more, there we go, we've got the sound actually coming up on there. Now, if you just want to view them, that's fine, that's, you know, uh, perfectly okay. Um, you obviously can view them directly in uh, IVMF uh, uh, 200, sorry, um, and you can get the sound up. But if you want to move them, you know, like I want to put them into Final Cut Pro, let's just stop him, he's being a bit noisy, um, you've got a slight problem because uh, in this version here, there is no sound. So what you have to do, and it's a bit of a, uh, a workaround or a bit of a bugger, Hike Vision do make a file converter. And that file converter is unfortunately only available um, for Windows. Um, in fact, if you go onto the VS Player um, for Windows, there's a little toolbox down here, but it's missing from the Mac version. So unfortunately what I have to do is I save these um, on my Mac here. Um, I have a MacBook Pro with uh, a bootcamp version of Windows 10. I open that up and copy them over to um, the laptop, convert them and then copy them back. Bit of a nuisance, but it, it seems to work. Uh, okay, that's um, playback and download. I hope that's been useful.